I started practicing in the area of civil sexual assault because I wanted to give a legal voice to the widespread problem of sexual abuse in society. There are several factors that I consider. Recoverability. Assuming the claim is proven, will there be funds available at the end of the day to pay compensation? Limitations. Um, that means how much time has passed since the abuse and has the claimant waited too long? A limitations defense acts to stop or bar the claim from proceeding, um, no matter how bad the abuse was. Fortunately, there are ways around a limitations defense, but this is always an area that I, I consider carefully. Uh, if there are or have been criminal charges, um, was there a conviction? If yes, then that is conclusive evidence of wrongdoing. If no, uh, then I, I look at whether there's something more than just my client say so, that the abuse happened, something more that we can rely on to prove the claim. And then, of course, compensation. Um, in the particular case I'm, I'm considering, um, how much compensation is likely to be awarded. Those are probably the most important uh, factors that I consider when uh, advising a client on whether a civil action is the right way to go.